One of our projects involves working with prison inmates to grow plants on which endangered species depend. Some of these plants, like Kincaid's lupin and golden paintbrush, are themselves threatened, and the prison inmates benefit too. In one of these pioneering projects, inmates at the Coffee Creek Correctional Facility in Oregon are partnering with IAE to grow early blue violets, the host plant for the Oregon silver spot butterfly. For planting at field sites on the Oregon coast where butterflies will be reintroduced and to help feed captively reared butterflies at the Oregon Zoo. Please listen to their words as they describe their experience with this innovative conservation effort. I was depressed, very depressed. I stayed on my bed most of the time. I didn't really have much to do with my time. Um, I didn't, I wasn't being productive at all. There was no way to be productive. So coming out here and doing this has actually, it brings up your self-esteem along with your self-worth. Since starting this program, um, I feel a lot more at peace. We come out here every day, it's quiet. We listen to the, the noises and the wind and um, yeah, it's really peaceful and it's really therapeutic to come out here and care for these little plants. I can't help but be really excited about this. The feelings of knowing that I'm not a, a bad person in society and all that. I'm doing something that's really good. My life in here has all of, has been all about uh, becoming a better person. It's sort of like being a part of something bigger. It's like turning over a new leaf because we're a part of a bigger picture. The beauty of this project is that the women at Coffee Creek are supporting the Oregon silver spot butterfly in all of, all of the stages of its life cycle. So they're harvesting leaves from the early blue violet, which provides sustenance for caterpillars that are being captively reared at the Oregon Zoo. They're also um, planting small violets at restoration sites around the Oregon coast, which will provide sustenance for wild butterflies. So the benefit that I see for the women who participate in this program is a sense of connection to community and to um, the environment and, and to the whole sustainability movement. It's taught me to look at the little things in life and the bigger picture and how our actions are going to affect things in the future, not only in this moment, but in moments to come. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chad Noggle. I'm the uh, sustainability coordinator for the Oregon Department of Corrections. Back in 2012, we joined the Sustainability and Prisons Project Network. I've seen the uh, adults in custody uh, more engaged, it's more a meaningful opportunity for them to give back to the community, to the environment. <laughs> And uh, it's really fun to see the adults in custody tr teach and train what they're learning and talk about it in front of their peers. Uh, and uh, actually, it's really uh, engaged our staff, too, to be supportive of these programs, too. Working with plants in general, it's so relaxing. It can take your blood pressure down. When you're in here and everything's so hectic all the time, it's nice to be able to just sit down and breathe. The pride in being part of that pretty dang important. I'm grateful for all the people that have allowed us to be a part of this and so I just want to say thank you. <laughs>